Let's get more on this from the Australian Financial Review. Political editor Phil Curry has been very patiently sitting there. Uh, you, wrote, you wrote an interesting article today around Tony Burke. He was trying to set the scene ahead of this parliamentary fortnight and he mentioned Peter Dutton 14 times. He's under their skin, you said. Well, I think he's living rent-free in their heads, yeah. <laughs> well, I think it's related to what you, your presentation just there, Tom, that clearly, um, you know, Labor's internal stuff will be picking up what the external polls are showing, that, that you know, that it's, 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 it's they're coming off the boil <laughs> quite quickly. It's sagging, mm. whatever term you want to use. And uh, and they, they now, you know, rather than dismissing Dutton, they see him as a threat and they need to carpet bomb him. And, and this week... In Parliament, there's a lot of lot of national security this week in response to the, pre the the two recent High Court decisions on citizenship cancellation and the de indefinite detention of non-citizens, and so that sort of puts the Parliament onto the coalition's traditional strength. And you know, Dutton's had a couple of wins on that in the last couple of weeks. So I think you know the Tony Burke sort of belled the cat, if you like, but in the process saying that we're going to do a lot of national security this week, but we wouldn't be doing it if Peter Dutton hadn't stuffed it up when he was in opposition because a lot of this is fixing up mm. his errors. That's their line. So, um, yeah, there's clearly a sensitivity there, absolutely. The, the reactionary element since that High Court decision, mm. just taking a little bit of time to pivot into action, and then even at, at every point they sort of said, we've done everything possible, then a couple of days later, oh, we'll do this and then we'll do this. <laughs> yeah. Feeling reactionary as a government. That, that to me, mm. in Canberra is where the sort of, um, you know, where you start to really hurt as a government. Because if you're always just reacting, you're never yeah. in control of things. Yeah, yeah, so long as people out there understand it. If we're talking about the um, those uh, people who are released from indefinite detention, Tom, there's now 138, and we were told today by the Border Force Commissioner that will be the, the final number. Um, and we've had now announcement today of another set of laws on top of the ones they did two weeks ago to in improve the powers to detain or to monitor and scrutinise them. And uh, the Minister, Claire O'Neill, said again today that when the High Court actually gets around to releasing its reasons for that decision, then they'll probably have to respond again and in a more, what you said, durable response. So I suspect there'll be a bit of proportionality introduced. So a lot of, some, a lot of these people under these... Um, these current laws, you know, if they're going to face for the rest of their life, they're not serious offenders or threats. You know, they could go to jail for a year for coming home an hour after curfew. So I think you're going to see, you know, these laws tweaked so the, the serious people maybe go back, back into mm. detention or have these controls on them, but just, just a bit of proportionality so we're not saddled with bad law. Is there an issue with a perception on, on the government one of its core elements will be different to the other Melbourne on transparency. I mean, it might only seem like a minor example, but Claire O'Neill was asked about the future of Mike Pizzullo. Mm. It's up to the PM. Two minutes later. <laughs> yeah, well, literally, 10 or 20 minutes later, there's a media release that he's gone after she's finished yeah, and you can't ask just, questions. Just and it might sound like a simple thing, but... Well, they just treat us like mugs. Uh, I mean, I, I, you know, it's no surprise Mike Pizzullo got the bullet. I mean, that's been the expectation ever since he got put in the sin bin for some private text messages. Uh, whether it's a good decision or not, that's not, yeah, it's not for us, it's not for me to make a call on, but uh, others will. Uh, but, um, yeah, I mean, we asked Claire O'Neill because some of the Liberals were saying in the wake of the High Court decision that had Pizzolo still been there, the government wouldn't have been caught so flat-footed without a meaningful response. To, uh, Minister O'Neill said this morning that was a ludicrous proposal, a ludicrous proposition, mm. she said. So. We well, are still there initially after that, when, sort of when the June indication yeah. came out, maybe. Mm. So, um, yeah. All right, so mm. how do we sort of see out the year for, for Labor and the coalition? Uh, I guess Labor wants the end of the year to come. They have a reset. Yeah, look, I, you have, you have a, a mid-year budget update and maybe yeah, they get look, talking about cost of yeah, living. It's always a mistake to there. sort of think the last sitting week of the year is sort of how it ends. There's actually quite a lot to come between now and Christmas. We've got... Um, the review into the NDIS, we've got the review into aged care funding, which is going to have a, you know, a user pays element to it. We've got the immigration review, which they're hiding under the bed because they don't, they're worried about immigration. And as you said, the, the mid-year budget review, which will usually in the third week of December, state of the budget, the surplus, this sort of thing. So there's still quite a lot for the government to do after this week. So, you know, they'll... If they sort of break even this week, that mm. won't be the end of it. And there's still an opportunity to finish strong, but... Even within that, mm. there's there's what needs to happen on the NDIs to make sustainable, but it's still a tough decision that can mm. make you unpopular. It, well, it's, it's a tough period, isn't it? It Government's is. hard. It is. It is very hard. It's a lot harder than it looks in opposition, and I think they're just starting to find that out. Um, but, you know, at the same time, Tom, sort of between the end of this week and Christmas, okay. the public's not going to remember much they do, so next year's when it matters. How you hit the ground right. next year. Bill Curry, thank you. Pleasure.